Star Ocean. This is a very long cutscene. But we are starting Star Ocean, the second story. This is a blind playthrough. And what's his voice collection? Uh, I don't know. Let's just go start a new game. You can experience round sound. Mm, yes, sure. On, yep. Oh, you can use two. Cloud Kenny, son of Earth Federation Army hero, Ronixis J. Kenny. Claude has his doubts, but he still attends the Federation Academy. A typical 19 year old. His major for now is basic combat arts. And Rena Lanford. Creative and dreamer, Rena is a happy go lucky 17 year old. She excels at the physical arts and has a mysterious healing power. She lives in Arlia, in the southern region of Planet Expo. Uh, let's try uh, Claude Kenny. Yeah, that's fine. What's this? Select a combat mode. Standard. Targeting. Camarosa. Fishing. Full active. The standard should be fine. Only the vast reaches of oh, outer space voices. can hold the myriad dreams of 10 billion people and still show them its infinite possibilities. Countless dreams expand through the vastness of space. But of course, some of them are nightmares. Your father, and I shall. I am here. I am here. I shall write my own story. Bro, I needed subtitles there. Planet. Milosinia, Milosinia. Well, any results different from the pre landing survey? Ronixis. Science officer? No, there continues to be no apparent response at any frequency. The field itself seems similar to the magnetic energy, but its characteristics are still unclear. Hmm, does this mean that it is absorbing the waves generated by the sensor? Try spectral analysis of magnetic waves emitted by the field. Ooh, thundering. The VG, the, the sound effects so loud. Claude, you've made it into to Ensign. If there's any reason to have to defend yourself, use this. Deadly weapon phase gun arm and ready. Face on. What's wrong? Nervous? Mm, no, that's not it. Ha! Huh. Claude, you're an ensign now. You'll need to be bolder than that. Not that that. Well, um, that's not really it. 
Listen, this face gun will shoot when you press the L1 button during a battle. If a battle start, use it, okay? L1. Left 1. Commodore. It's no use. Nothing in the database matches it. Nothing, eh? Alright. Then we'll just have to get closer. What is that? There is a dome. It's an ancient civilization. Who would build such a thing and why? This is what is going on? I guess we'll just have to look around the dome's entrance. Good idea. Everyone, chase the area. Including me. By the way, this is a blind playthrough. No spoilers, please. Safety is the first priority. Be careful. Oh, I can move. Is there like, is there no auto run? Can I save? Nope. Option. Around. Message feed, I like it fast. Targeting is manual. Camera look is normal. Yep, 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 yep. Vibration is on. It's no auto run, huh? Okay. Officer. Ensign Kenny. Why such a huge dome? Can we open it? Here, oh, there is like a shining thing here. There must be a switch or sensor somewhere. Might be. Might there be some way to open the door? Claude, check out this area. Can I go out? No time to go that way. We have to find a way to open this door. Okay. Here. It's a button here. Dad! I mean... Commodore! What is it, Claude? The bottom here is shining. There's something here. It appears to be some kind of a control device. It may be... It may have something to do with the door to the dome. Good work, Claude. It's my dad. Dot dot dot. How about it? Can you determine what this panel is for? With some time, I may be able to. It's wrong. Oh. Oh, it's in there. It opened. What does it look like inside? There does not seem to be any kind of sensor at the entrance. We'll just have to explore. Alright then. We'll investigate the interior. We have no idea about what lies ahead. Each member must take all possible precautions. I am Kenny. Ensign Kenny, what do you think that sensor like over us over there? This one. This is a save point. You can save your game up to this point. Only place where you can save other than the world map. Sure, let us save. It seems as if there was a gigantic internal explosion. What could it be on such a small planet? Only one dialogue, it's fine. What? Who made it? And for what? How in heaven does that device function? It's like a sh shining thing here again. Claude! Stop being so reckless. Wait till we find out what that device is. It's alright, there's no need to worry. We have no idea what that device is. Stay clear. Claude, come back now. Do not approach that device. 
yet. Good. Kenny, what the fuck are you doing? Claude. Claude Kenny? Kenny? Kenny Claude? You're gonna get electrocuted. We'll get nothing done if we keep fretting like this. Hmm. It's true that dangerous things often looks like nothing special. We're gonna get executed. Voice. Oh, oh. 14360 blah 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 blah. Gate open. Uh oh. Woo. Hey, what the? I like it. It's like dancing. Oh. Hey, hey, he disappeared. Claude. Commodore. It's all my fault. Did he die? Where did he go? Did he get teleported somewhere? Ah, oh. It was like a foresty place. Oh, huh? He got transported somewhere. What the? That's it. I was exploring Melokoisinia, and then I was surrounded by a light and Melosinia. What is this place? Father, where's everyone? That's it, my communicator. It's no use. I got no response. Oh darn. I must have been beamed somewhere. There's no point in just sitting here. I have to figure out where I am. Oh. Ooh. Judging by the look of the place, this must be an undeveloped planet. I wonder where the heck I've gotten to. Oh, being beam is pretty normal here, right? Someone's there. Hmm? Look out behind you. What? Eek. I shall save you. I've got to help her. This is bad. This is bad. How do you play this? Oh, I punched the guy. Burn. Beam. L one beam. Burn. Beam. Oh, you can like hurt? spam it. Oh, that's in keys. Hey. One skill point of team. Hey <laughs> man, the audio is so shit. Like old audio. Whew. I made it just in time. Oh no. Now I've done it. I used the face gun without thinking. Rats, that was hairless. I must be busted on the undeveloped planet protection treaty. But that was the only way to save her. It couldn't be helped. Um, I... Are you all right? That was a close shave. Now there's something I want to ask you. Oh. Hey! Hey, wait a minute. She's gone. Why is she running? Oh. Is there like any hidden items here? Is it is it like that in Chrono Cross? I don't think so. Where are you going? Hey! Stop running away. I'm glad you waited for me. Sorry about running off like that. 
I still don't have a good woman fa- voice, so I'll just speak clearly like the normal voice I use. It's okay. Um, it's just that I was so surprised. It all happened so suddenly. I see. Were you afraid? Were you afraid? Well, maybe a little, but I'm really sorry about that. After you had saved me and all. It's okay, don't worry about it. And you did wait up for me after all. Gosh, I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Rana Lanford. What? Me? I'm Claude. Claude Kenny. Pleased to meet you. Hehe, <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Huh? Uh, Mr. Claude, you were going to say something back then. Oh, that's right. It's nothing really, but... Where are we? I don't know, where are we? I'm lost. Are you a traveler? Uh, yeah, well, something like that. Where do you come from? From Earth? I'm from Earth. The one and lonely Earth. Earth? Where a galaxy? Where exactly is that? I guess you wouldn't know, of course. Well, hmm, how should I put it? I know, it's a place far away from here. I think it's really far away. That's true. A far away place? Me? I've never left this continent. Wow, do you mean somewhere on the other side of the continent of L? Uh, well, I guess so. That's quite a trip. Uh, Mr. Cloud, across the bridge here is Arlia. Arlia? So this is the village where you live. But is it okay for me to barge in like this without notice? Don't worry about it. I want to thank you for... Formally for saving me. You didn't bother with it, that I really didn't do anything. Teehee. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it. We can just do... We can't do much entertainment anyway. I'm in Arlia. <laughs> the bean. Welcome to Arlia. I haven't smelled such clean air in a long time. Huh? Is there any kind? Any other kind? Yes, the air where I used to live was very dirty. Is that so? This is that is terrible. Maybe so. I really feel good. The air is not going anywhere to breathe, so breathing as much as you like. Heh. <laughs> Mr. Claude, I need to go home first. Why don't you just walk around the village for a while? Okay, I'll do that. I'll be back soon. This is just terrible. I must find some means of getting back. I will start by asking the people of this village some questions. Oh, early village. Let's save, I found a savior. Ah! I better not leave the village right now. She said that she would come back. And I still might get more information here. Okay. This place is... This place is Arlia. Don't you even know that? I knew that. I don't think there's anything here. It's like other games. Build, building, building church. You're wearing such weird clothes. Where did you buy them? Earth? Where is that? Is that a shop? 
priest said that the warrior will come soon. I am the warrior. Oh, are you a traveler? I hear rumors of many demons appearing along the roads. To be traveling at such a time, you must have a reason to take such risks. May God's divine protection be upon you. Balding, balding, balding. Small, oh. Oh, what's in here? Anything? Were you okay in the earthquake? Earthquake don't bother me, but I can stand lightning. I hate earthquakes. There are so many earthquakes lately, I hate it. Ooh, treasure chest. Rose hips. Blueberry. Rose hips. Blueberry, what are those? It's very true. It's a heal healing item. Heal wound and a healing item. I have no weapon? Is that a skill? It's not. I thought I was like using something. Anything more here? I'm just looting looting this place. Melosinia? Never heard of it. This is Arlia, a village in the south. Tip of the continent. Oh, what's that? Why is the button like that? A spaceship? What's that? Is it something to eat? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a specialty? Yeah, it's a specialty. A laser gun used by the Federal Army. The choice object at a malevolent level. So it's a left. Left button? I can go up, I can go right. Okay, so I shall go right then. It's an arrow key. General store. Hearn something. May I help you? You can find almost anything you want at Mr. Hearn store. What can I get you, sir? A spaceship? What is that? We don't sell such gibberish. What do you what do you what do you what do you sell? I can't sell because I'm looking for a spaceship. Okay. Leather armor. Oh. Clothes. Oh automatically. Wow. Fall. Paul is the currency. Resurrection bottle. Machine? What is that? Machine. Oh. <laughs> I think that moves by itself. Does that have something to do with the heraldy arts? If so, then talk to the master of heraldy. Heraldy. Strawberry. I heard that there are a lot of demons outside the village. I'm scared, big brother. It's okay, your big brother will protect you. You're my hero, big brother. Ahem. Ahem. What? Oh, I don't understand. I didn't even ask anything yet. Oh, oh no. So where is he now? He's looking around the village. I didn't mean to go here. Rana, um... Huh? Excuse me? Oh, Mr. Cloud, what is the matter? I was just walking around the village and found my way here. Of course, but you surprised me. Was I interrupting something? No, 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 of course not. Mother, this is Mr. Claude, the one I was talking about. 
Oh, is this him? Pleased to meet you. Mr. Claude, I am Westa, Rena's mother. My daughter showed me that you saved her when she was in danger. Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing. Certainly not. If you had come along a little later, it would have been tragic. I keep telling her, it is too dangerous, so don't go to the Shingo forest. But that girl doesn't listen. Shingo. Shingo. Oh, mom, cut it out. Rena, I'm just thinking about you. Mr. Claude, sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm finished. Here, so why don't I show you around the village? Okay, let's go. Bye, Mom. I won't be long. Okay, take care. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Like a cowboy, ma'am. Sorry about that. Mother gets so excited. Don't worry about it. She's just like my mother. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom's even worse. I'd like to show you. Tee hee, let's go. Tee hee. Huh? Is that all? I have barely shown you around at all. Oh. Okay. Oh, Rena. Who's your friend? I've never seen him around. Oh, it's a woman. Ha, his name is Mr. Claude. He said that he is in the middle of a journey. Is that so? Why? I thought he was a stranger. This is the house of the mirror, hourly village. He's a very smart man, but he doesn't seem to be here. I'm just looking for stuff to loot. What is this place? Keep water here. Also, is there like a uh, space here? Any stuff I can get for free? Oh, it's an outside place. Nice. Anything? Is it me? Ah, Rina! Regis has gone to Salva. He will be back soon. Salva. Is that a place? Arlia and uh, Salva. Rena, you really like the, sh the Shingo Forest, don't you? Take me along next time. The Shingo Shingo. Shingo Forest. The man of this house is Carpenter. He's now working on a big job in a neighboring town, so he's off and gone for some time. So the two kids are home alone? Yeah, I feel sorry for them. I come over and tell them stories as much as I can. Rena, you really are a- uh, Rena, you really, uh, you really are nice, aren't you? Not really. Ah. Oh, stop it. Miss Rena! Is your dad off again to work today? Yeah, he'll be gone for two weeks. But we'll be okay, I'll protect my little sister. Yeah, we aren't lonely, big brother is here, and Miss Rena plays with us. Will you tell us a story today? I'm sorry, I'm just a little busy today, next time, okay? Okay, next time. Next time. Oh, Rena. So you have found a boyfriend to walk with? Your mother is bound to be worried. Ooh, birds. The birds. This is Mr. Hearn's general store. They sell lots of useful things. Something smells good. That is the smell of herbs. Hmm? Hmm? Herbs? 
Yes, the medicine that heals wounds, an absolute necess necessity for traveling. Is that right? Herbs, I've never heard of them before. You've never heard of herbs? Never. I'm a... I'm a spaceman. It's amazing you made it this far without them. I got teleported. Hi, Rena. Are you on an errand today? Ooh. Toggle description. Settle and leave shop. Sell. 900. 900. What the fuck are these? What does that mean? Do I need anything? Is this like an item? What? Oh, oh, I have 500. Might as well buy some 10. I don't know. One of each? I don't know. Sandals. It's an equipment. Stand is cheap. I don't know, maybe this is like an item that looks at the... the stats of the enemies. Thank you! Auto equip! Auto equip! Weird. There's like an auto equip. Lucia! Rena, I haven't seen you. Mr. Allen in a while. Will be coming soon? You're right. Uh, you're right. I wonder what has happened. Rena, who is this Mr. Allen? He's a chilled playmate of mine. He's from a neighboring town. So that's it? Oh, is that guy an acquaintance of yours, Rena? Your boyfriend, maybe? Oh no, he saved my life. It's nothing like that. Hee <laughs> hee. That was just a joke. But you take it so seriously. So cute. Yeah, let's go, Mr. Claude. Why does he call me Mr. Claude? She. This is the house of the newlywed couple. They are so lovey dovey that it is embarrassing just watching them. I see. The lovey dovey. Hi, Rina. Are you here with your boyfriend today? Please don't misunderstand. He's our guest. A boyfriend today? I think you're just right for Rena. Please make her happy, like us. I will try. What the fuck? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Why'd you answer like that? So weird of you. This is Arlia's church. This is where they hold wedding in the village. The priest here is very earnest and is always there for us when we need advice or guidance. He sounds like a wonderful man. Yes, we all depend on him. It's so unusual to see a church. I hope it doesn't snow. Me? Rena, won't you stay for today's sermon with the warrior? Sorry, but I have to show my friend around today. That's okay, I understand. Frequent, frequent swarms of earthquakes, animals staring into demons. God must be trying to tell what's up there. <sighs> you too shall, should pray with us. It is only true prayer that you can know God's will. Why is there a barrel near you? Is this like a holy water barrel? Where to next? I think we're done. Good morning, sir. Hi, Rena. My, you're chippier today. Oh, that's it? I can only show you around the village. Oh, that's right. I'm done then. Did I like go back to the house? Why is there a barrel in the middle of the road? a fountain so many barrels 
Oh. Whoa, food. Hello. Father, I'm home. Oh, Reina, that was quick. But good timing. I just now finished the preparations. Preparations? Yeah, chicken. There's a chicken. It's like a cake as well. Oh, mom. What is this mountain of food for? Doesn't it look good? I did my best to make it all. I'm not talking about that. What is it? Won't you eat? I just wanted to fix something for Mr. Claude in gratitude for him saving you. I can understand that, but don't you think that is a bit too much? Do you think so? Don't you know how much a young man eat? Mr. Claude, you must be hungry, right? Well, now that you mention it... See? Young men have no problem eating this much. Mr. Claude, eat as much as you like. Okay. Oh, mom. One hour later. I can't eat anymore. I'm finished. You didn't have to clean your plate. Are you okay? I'm finished. I got an iron stomach. That silly mother of mine made me too much. Made too much. But it was really good. My mother couldn't make such good food. Even if there's flattery, I'm still happy. I'm glad you like it. I'll be downstairs helping mother clean up. You can relax upstairs for a while. Boy, I am full. Mom, I wonder how mom is doing. There is really no need to worry, but... I must find a way back to get... To, to get back home. That Trina, I wonder what's keeping her. Can save it. Rina's room. I shouldn't be going into someone's cell's room without permission. No, there's a treasure. Rina said to stay upstairs. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to sleep? Oh, there, there she is. This is the mother. Oh, hi, Resta. Mr. Claude, I hope you like the food. Do you think I made too much? Not at all. I was really good. It was really good. Thank you for the dinner. Oh, really? You're quite welcome. Was it really good? Yes, really. Really, really? What's wrong with you? Yes, really, really. I'm glad. I just wouldn't know what to do if the warrior didn't like my food. The warrior? The warrior? The father is talking about? Oops. Mother, I'm back. Am I... Are you saying I'm the warrior? From whatever your priest is saying? Oh my goodness, Rena, what have I done? What is the matter? Mother, why are you so flustered? I did it. You did what? I'm asking you what is it the matter? I said it. What did you say? The warrior. He said that and what did Mr. Cloud say? He didn't seem really to really understand. What's happening? What is exactly is going on? I don't know. Please just calm down. He does not yet understand the situation, right? Oh, Mr. Claude. 
Is that the the priest, right? Or is that the elder man? So you are, Mr. Claude. Pleased to meet you. My name is Regis. I am the mayor of the village. Yes, I am Claude. I was told that you saved Brenna in the Shingo forest. I am very grateful. Ah, it was nothing. Brenna told me that you are in the middle of a journey. Well, I wouldn't use such a grand duo, I word, but... Grand duo. To where are you traveling? The Kingdom of Cross? Or perhaps the continent of Lacour? I'm looking for Earth. Well, I don't really know. You don't know where you are, and you are not clear on your destination? Quite a strange traveler, I must say. What are you trying to say? At the risk of being rude, I must say that you are lying, Mr. Claude. You are no simple traveler. I'm a spaceman. If I am no traveler, then who am I? A man from another world, the warrior of legend. You are merely disguising yourself as a traveler to spy upon the world. Am I wrong? Are you not the warrior who has come to save us? What? Hang on, just wait a minute here. On what grounds do you say that? As for grounds, I can cite our local legends which has been passed down through the ages. They say, when this land expel is threatened with a menace and the people are suffering, a warrior wearing alien raiments shall appear. He shall carry a sword of light and save the people. Is that it? The gun is a sword of light? You wear alien ail raiments and carry a sword of light. Do we need further proof? I don't have anything like that sort of light. It's a gun. But when you saved me, you used a weapon that shoots out a dazzling beam of light, didn't you? Well, that was... Might this be a different person? No, it's the same person. Hmm. I understand about the sword of light. It is not exactly a sword of light, but I do have such a weapon. But that does not make me some sort of warrior. This must be some sort of mistake. Why do you say such a thing? Because I am really not the warrior. I have no power in the first place. I don't really know what is happening and for you to suddenly ask me to help you. You really doesn't know? About the sorcery glow and the about the disasters? What's up? What's up? They say not occurring in this village. They are not occurring in this village. Disasters are occurring throughout the world. It's global warming. You really do not know. I see. Let me explain. It started three months ago. A flashback. Man, I wanna save. On another continent, located to the northwest west of this village, there's a country called the Kingdom of Hell. One day, a meteorite suddenly landed in the village of Eluria, one of the domains of Kingdom of Hell. Oh, that's the cutscene. At first there was merely a fuss about it being an unusual meteorite, but soon eventually unusual occurrences began to happen. The previously peaceful kingdom of hell began to be suddenly plagued by many groups of demons which became violent. Nothing like this had ever happened before, that is until the meteorite fell. So. Do you think it's strange to believe that there is some connection?
We came to call the fallen meteorite the sorcery globe or stone of sorcery. No matter how I think about it, I can only assume that this stone is the source of all of the misfortune. The sorcery globe fell to the ground suddenly, and now you appear suddenly. If that meteorite is the source of all of the misfortunes, then we felt that you are the only one who could put an end to them. But I... Disasters are occurring even now throughout the world. Earthquake swarms the likes of which... We have never seen. Animals turning into demons. Someday, these misfortunes will fall upon this village also. But I... I have no such power. I would have no chance against a meteorite that is able to cause such misfortune. So where exactly do you come from? And where are you going? I just got beamed. That I can't explain easily. Even if I were to explain, I doubt you would understand. The one thing I can say is that I did not come here on my own will. But rather, I came here by accident. Your being is so vague that I have trouble understanding. Yet, that is all I can say. Is he not saying it because of the uh, the act of whatever whatever dimensional stuff? I see. Since you deny it so forcefully, what you say must be the truth. So I see that you really are not the warrior. No. Rena, why do you keep saying I'm the warrior? I'm sorry. I know that this must be a disappointment to you. Yes, but it was our misunderstanding. This is not something that you need to worry about. I'm sorry about that. Hey, don't walk out on us. Rena. Please leave her alone. For a while, she must have believed that you really were the warrior. She will come down pretty soon. Rena. 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 Mr. Claude, I have one request of you. In the future, please avoid any action which may be misunderstood. I am talking about your sword of light. As I explained earlier, the people's heart are filled with uncertainty due to the sorcery globe. At such a time, there may be people who confuse reality with legend. It is not unreasonable to expect them to want to cling to hope like Rena. If the hope can never come true, then it is best not to held in the first place. Please do as I ask. I understand. I will be more careful. So, Mr. Claude, what do you intend to do from now on? To be honest, I am not sure. I want to look around and see if I can at least find some clues. If that is so, then why don't you stay for a while in this village? You may find out something here. If you need a place to sleep, you can stay at my house. I wouldn't want to impose. It is no imposition. I have caused you much imposition myself. Well, if you say so, then I will take you up on your offer. <laughs> She's sleeping. Sleeping music. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. The mirror is downstairs. Where did the mirror sleep?
Good morning, sir. Oh, you finally woke up. Yes, I slept well. That is good. Now, Mr. Claude, if you cannot find out what you want in this village, try going to the town of Salva, north of Arlia. It is a mining town. Many people from the throughout the continent travel there. You may hear something useful there. Thank you for everything. Think nothing of it. Oh yes, please take this sword. Your sword of light attracts too much attention. When you get tired, feel free to use the upstairs bedroom and take your rest. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the sword, the long sword. Take care when you go. 16 to 46. Yay. Where did he sleep? Am I just leaving? Yo! Where's Rina? Oh, Mr. Claude, Rina's not here. Where is she? She in the, in the forest? What do you have? Nothing new. Mr. Hearn? Where is Rina? <laughs> Yo, old man, where's Rina? I can save here. Well, and that should be the episode for now. I hope you enjoy. This is Star Ocean, the second story. It's it's, very, it's a blind playthrough. And look at that, there's a boat in there. Well, hope everyone enjoyed. I shall see you on the next one. Bye.